Um, so if I now show some x-rays, I've got some comparisons of normal legs versus legs with OCD. Can you see that? Okay, as me. Yeah. 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 So these first two x-rays are a set of ankle joints or hock joints, and we're looking craniocaudal, so from back to front. Now the left ankle here is normal. We've got the end of the shin bone or tibia here, the little splint bone or fibula down the side, and then a bone called the talus here, um, which you can follow the outline of. It's almost like a upside down egg box. It has two ridges, one here on the outside and one here on the inside. And just above those ridges, there are corresponding dips in the bottom of the tibia or shin bone. And the gap between those makes a very even black line. And that's the joint space. So that's the hinge point for the ankle. Yeah. So on the right side here, we can see that gray line again is normal over on the outside. But when it comes to the inside, that gray line seems to widen. And it's not because the dip in the bottom of the tibia is odd, but it's because that ridge of the inside aspect of the talus is odd. Um, it doesn't reach up as high as the one over on the normal leg did. And so whilst it does, this doesn't quite look like my Fred Flintstone bone, it's the same kind of idea. We're missing a bit of bone that should be there. We have to remember that with x-rays, we can't see the articular cartilage. So it's not very often that we can actually see that flap of articular cartilage that has broken off. All we can see is that some of the bone, which in this stage of dog should be mineralized and should be a dense white color, is missing where it should be there. What you can also appreciate on this x-ray is the increase in the amount of gray either side of the bones, and that's the soft tissues. So it looks here like this dog has swelling, um, accumulation of fluid in this joint. This is an unhappy joint, presumably because number one, it doesn't fit together properly and so that can make it a bit wobbly. And number two, it may well have a flap of cartilage having broken off because it doesn't have the support from the bone beneath. It's quite odd when you look at them in comparison, isn't it? It's very easy once you um, once you know the answer, I would say. It's very <laughs> easy to overlook this. Um, but if you have a suspicion um, as a vet for an ankle swelling, often, you know, taking the other leg is useful, though it is worth remembering that quite often um, dogs are affected equally in both hind legs. So then it sometimes helps to, to go back to a reference book to say, to remind yourself of what these ridges of the talus should look like because it's not somewhere that um, we all radiograph or x-ray every day. No. Similarly in the shoulder, this maybe looks a bit more like my Fred, Fred Flintstone bone, um, and this dog is affected in both of its shoulders. Um, so what I want to draw attention to here is this is the top of the humerus here, what we call the humeral head, and the bone opposing it is the scapula or the shoulder blade. So the shoulder is a sort of ball and socket joint, not quite well, um, as quite well as formed as the hip ball and socket joint. But this humeral head here should fit or should match with the curve of the bottom of the shoulder blade. And so here on the right leg, we follow a nice smooth curve and then suddenly at the back, we have a little dip here. And the same over on the left, possibly a bit more pronounced on the left, we've got a nice smooth surface for most of it. And then right at the back, things become a little bit irregular and patchy. And actually, in this shoulder joint, we have this extra little mineralized thing down here, which would be a bit suspicious for one of those cartilage fragments I mentioned. Now, as I said, we can't usually see cartilage on x-rays. Cartilage um, flats with OCD are generally something that we, we just have to make an educated guess of there based on the, the abnormal outline of the bone. But in some cases, those cartilage flats, if they've been there for a while, they will mineralize and become visible. 